How y'all doing? Crooky Joe here, back at Two Rivers. And we have just gotten started on the barley field, field number 12. We have finished harvesting field 9, canola. We're still harvesting wheat on field 10. Planting on wheat on field 8. We're still harvesting wheat on field 15. Um, we are cultivating field 10. Field 9. And... Uh, we did deliver grass and pick up grass. I don't remember if we finished picking up grass on that. Let's go and take a gander. I don't remember if we picked up all the grass on the grass field or not. Let's go check that out. Alright, let's take a look. No, we still have grass to pick up. So let's go find our forage wagony truck thing. down to the grass field. Go ahead and set him up on course play to pick up the next load for us. If we ever, ever get there. 16 miles per hour. Let's find 
Grass field one. Field work. And I think the wind rower was 8.2 meters, so we'll set that up for 8.2, so that it lines up. Northeast corner, going south. Yes, we'll turn the course. course. And let's look at our waypoints, our eggs, so that we can line up properly. Lined up this row here. He should drive the course and fill up himself. Okay. Let's let him go for a while. Let's check on... He is waiting. So let's just wait here with him for a moment. Unload him. Let's go check on our far and see how he's doing on field number 15. He is also waiting. Let's check and see how much we've got stored up so far. Wheat, 52,219. Barley, we're at 17,544, which we started game with. And Nola, we ended up right now with 101,415. And I want to check and see what we did for cows. We have 10,000 liters of grass in the feeding trough at the cow pasture. We do have chickens. I forgot we had chickens. So we should probably check on eggs there also. Jump over here and jump out. Chickens are behind the shed here. I didn't even look and see if we had any eggs yet, but we've got the uh, chicken coop mod, so we don't have to run around hunting for them. We have none yet, so. How you doing, chicken? You look fluffy. Okay, so we're doing okay there. Let's see how our truck is doing. He's about 37% full. I think we'll need to put some of this in the silo with the cow farm so we can start getting ready to do silage. I will, of course, play that course at some point, but not, but not right now. See if he misses the little outhouse building. Come on. Through the tree. Alright. How are 
we doing on the field? Ten. Still harvesting. We will need to pick up some of this straw too. I think we'll gather the straw off of field ten here since it's close to the cow farm, and we'll use that to fill up their straw. This map also has storage points for straw, grass, silage, and mixed rations. I should go past the tower here pretty soon. Until 12. Once we get done on field 10 with the other place, and we'll end up bringing him down to help out. Across the road is the sheep farm. Okay. It's doing good on field 15. He's on the wider portion of the field now, so he's getting along just fine. Check on our Cultivators. This guy is working the eastern end of the field, making progress. And our wheat planting is not too far from being completed on field 8. So we do need to buy a fertilizer spreader. get the BEFCO 203, $850, and then we will need another tracker, and I think we said we would get certain types of trackers for each um, job, so <clears throat> we have these guys, the Bure RP-21, Cultivating, we have the Dutes D80 doing tipper duty. So, we don't need a big tractor for this. We'll get one of the small ones. It's, I'm not going to get the Bugler G4000. It's really tiny. I think I'll get the Goldner G40 to do that. So, let's get him reset. Back to the farm. And we will hook up our fertilizer spreader. I believe this is a 12 meter. If I remember right. Let's turn around here where we can see it. head over to fill him up. We'll head him up to field 8 to start fertilizing the wheat field. This one holds, what, about 300? 300 liters of fertilizer. 
And I, I programmed the fill routes for seed and fertilizer and fuel and all as one route for these fields so that it passes by each point so that no matter what we're doing, as far as seeding and fertilizing, we'll always pass by both of those and the refuel points so that if we do run low, they'll automatically refuel themselves. So let's head this up to field 8. How you doing? Alright, there's the hot air balloon in the background. Too bad we can't take it for a ride. That reminds me one time I was cutting wheat. Oh, I was probably in my lower teen years. I was harvesting wheat. I was heading west through the field cutting the wheat. And this big huge shadow came over my combine and I started to duck instinctively. It's a big round shadow. It ended up being a hot air balloon passing right over my combine and it landed in the field farther ahead of me. Scared the holy you-know-what out of me. Alright, so let's load field 8 limits. And I think this one is a 12 meter. We'll soon find out, won't we? Whoa, really far. So we'll set it to 11 and a half for a little bit of overlap, and this will be the southeast corner going west, return to course point S, generate course. And then we'll also load the field 8 refill route. Let's get him lined up a little bit better. Alright, let's hop out of the cab view and see. Are you going to do it correctly or not? No, we're too close to the start point. Let's back her up. Let's back her up a little bit here. Get lined up. We should go now. Let's see if this is the correct setting. believe it is. <clears throat> Alright, so we should get this fertilized nicely. <clears throat> Let him get around and make sure we got a good overlap on the fertilizer. like the porch wagony truck is full. Okay, let's see if this will overlap properly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
So the little tricky thing is done. Let's go ahead and stock him. And we'll run this grass up to the cow farm. He was 16 miles per hour empty, now he's only about 13 to 14 miles per hour full, so a little bit of weight on him. I think we, we said we had 10,000 liters of grass in the, hay, in the feed trough at the cow shed, so we're going to go ahead and dump this in the, one of the silos. We'll end up, um, on some of the straw, we'll end up chaffing it. We'll get a pull behind forage harvester and a trailer. Down. I'm gonna run you down, buddy. Watch out. I'm coming for you. Run a little golf carty thing. What are you doing? out of the way, Kramer. Got work to do. Alrighty. So let's put this one in the far silo for whatever reason. Can we? Yes, we can. Shoot, we've already got a whole two, three percent. So that will take a while. Let's leave him there for a minute. Let's check on people. Like our Kramer is driving off into the woods. Okay. So what are you doing there, Kramer guy? Are you stuck? I think he's... That's pretty cool though. He's like on the edge of the map see through the edge of the map here. Ooh, some little hills. Alright, so stop you. I'm out of here. It's like a peek into the world beyond. Okay, where were we? We're right over here somewhere. Get him lined back up.
Alright. Continue, sir. You're doing awesome. Sort of. And I think our... Fertilizer guy is going back to refill. In the red tractor, which is called a builder or some such thing. Let's see if he refills. 